I don't know who counterfeit. I had no control over I it. want you to pay attention, put on your listening ears. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I don't know whether you had control over it or not. You ate the money. All right. So the next case that's coming on, as I had already described the first case in my last video about Roses having falsified a report to the police about me when I was not going to quote-unquote stalk her. I was just going to her house to collect my $300 that I had given to her for old rent of hers and Dan's for their room in Elmsford in a private house, if I'm correct. And this is what she does to me in July 2012. Then a month later, she comes to my place with Dan telling me that there is no Savior, that Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, did not die for the sin of the world. That's a lie from the pits of hell that I had already talked about time and time again in my videos on YouTube. It is November 13, 14, 2012, 10-11 p.m. So the next case that's coming on now is about a Kayla, a K, I'm sorry, man, M-A-N-N, -N, a K man who, um, is receiving social security disability like me. I'm just receiving a little more. But this person has four children and I'm single. And um, she's receiving child support as well. But I just felt that in the next case that's coming up, she Judge Judy talked just inappropriately to her. That's how I felt personally. I know, she, I know that Judy Scheinlin is a judge, a famous judge. She went to law school. She got her degree. She's the most popular TV judge. But she could have handled herself better, I believe, with the judgment. I pray for all people. I love all people with the love of Jesus. But I said several hours ago that I would be recording this video that's on now, this case that's on now, but I've decided that I'm going to record the whole hour. I'm going to record for the whole hour. Because I felt that Jesus spoke to me in the cases afterwards. Closed captioning is provided by...